the gameplay. All right, so first thing we're looking at every single game, taking a look at our team comp and enemy team comp, because that's going to affect a lot of our gameplay. Um, we do have a Nanoblade, so that is very, very good for us. Um, we have Zarya, so what that means is that um, we have the potential to combo with grab. Probably don't want to do that if you have the nano, but if you, let's say, for some reason you don't have nano, that is a combo that you can look for. Um, as well as every time that we go for blade, we should be asking Zarya for bubble so that we don't get stunned. Uh, so, for example, we don't get slept so that we don't we take a lot less damage. Um, a lot of they don't actually have much CC, but a lot of the times comps will have a few other options for crowd control, meaning that you can't get shattered. So um, it's going to help you out quite a bit um, with survivability if you're asking for that bubble. Um, then pretty much you guys are running a brawl comp mainly. So that means you guys want to play fast and aggressive and try to get in close to them. They are also pretty much running a brawl comp, but they have a little bit of a spam mixed in there. Um, with the Mercy and the Soldier, mainly. I think we accidentally cancelled that deflect. Okay, very nice. All right, um, on Genji, what would you say the purpose of jumping is with him? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? So you don't know why Why? Why I, do you I, jump I, around as Genji? I generally just double jump to avoid spam. Mm -hmm. Yep, so double jumping is to avoid damage because the... Uh, you re typically with a regular character, I see. I hear you're in a game, so I'm going to actually swap yeah. over here real quick. I'm going to stop streaming. Um... But typically, on a normal character, you don't want to jump frequently because of the fact that it makes you easier to headshot. But because Genji has a double jump that allows him to jump, because uh, he has a lot more kind of maneuverability with that second jump. Now, the thing is, when you're just spamming down a corridor and you have a shield in front of you, that double jump does literally nothing but throw off your aim. And we probably shouldn't just be spam jumping, right? So if we're just looking for spam shots down a corridor, best thing to do is probably just going to be aim head level and just look straight forwards, right? No, no unnecessary jumps, because that's just going to mean that you have to adjust up and down and up and down, right? Cool. Okay, first thing we're doing here is just scouting an enemy comp. All right, full dive. Yo, Cal, can you mute or go push to talk or something? I'm hearing the game twice. I have to. Winston, I'm gonna have to meet you here. Don't worry, dude. I've... Okay, so we're working with a Mercy and an Ana. Make sure we're calling for the Mercy damage boost when you go for a blade, even if you have the Nano boost. Winston's up top, he dropped down. Uh, I don't know if Genji's the best thing to play into this comp. Yeah, into a dive it can be a little bit difficult. Make sure we're focusing kind of on the right targets though, right? Uh, we're going to have a lot harder of our time killing, you know, their tanks and their DPS than if we're trying to go for the supports, for example. So maybe try focusing on the supports rather than just kind of trying to um, whittle down the tanks. Nice. So, we essentially on Genshi, we're just spamming, spamming, spamming until we see an opportunity to go in, right? So we want to kind of want to look for the opportunity to go on their supports. 
Yeah, we're playing for a nano blade, right? So we should be requesting like uh, I pressing have, tab. Yeah, yeah, I yep. They have it first though. No mm -hmm. ults here. Keep in mind as well that you can go for blade when you're like 90 year old rather than going when you're at when you actually have it because you can just request nano dash in and then you get the blade right from just hitting somebody sometimes you can even go from the depending on the comp that they're on you can dash in even when you're 15 or 20 percent away from your blade just because you'll get that from dashing through six people okay oh we're gonna have to go point here i have to do something Chase is behind. Thanks for the heals. Alright, make sure that before you're going for your ult. Oh, wait, no, I'll talk after this. Alright, make sure that you request for things, right, before you're going for your blade. Yeah. Now, of course, I'm talking, so that might be a little bit harder, but um, if you request nano boost, right, and you say, on, I'm dashing up at uh, re nano me, okay, three, two, one, you count it down, now it becomes much, much easier to get the nano, means that it's not coming in delayed. Okay, uh, and I'll continue to talk later. That's my team. Only two of us were left side. The monkey jumped in and no one helped. Well, for starters, I didn't know monkey jumped in. Could call it if you want the peel. Did you come to point? Okay, try not to get distracted by ball if the fight's happening. Right, so we should only really be focused on tanks if we're at the poke phase where we're just kind of poking. Um, other than that, unless the tank's low or out of position, don't give them too much attention because then we're essentially just killing the things that are a lot harder to kill that don't really get much value besides drawing your attention away. We don't really have any utility for me to call for there. Oh, you have a you have a damage boost. We didn't call for the mercy, right? Damage boost does the exact same thing as a now mercy was on us, but that's just by chance. I didn't hear any call out. Um, mercy damage boost does the same damage boost as the on a nano boost, which allows you to just slash dash people, right? I thought it was slightly less. Does it not? It it is slightly less, but it still allows you to slash dash. Right, uh, instead of do, ha requiring two sl uh, two slashes. Now, uh, do you know what happens when you get damage boosted by both a Mercy and a Mor and, and an Ana? No. That allows you to one shot slash. You do not require a dash. So that's why requesting for both of them is super important because you get healed up as well as that damage boost can allow you to, you, you have extra survivability and you can one shot someone if you maybe miss the dash or to just speed it up a little bit faster. I can't, there's mines in front of me. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So when we're when it comes to like target priority, right? Tanks are never the things that should be our main focus because DPS and supports, quite frankly, just do more. Tanks' jobs are to create space. They have three times the health as uh, supports and DPS, and also two supports can heal one tank, but one support you know supports can't pocket each other nearly as efficiently. So when we're thinking of target priorities, focus more on the squishier, easier to kill targets if they're ev equally available. Now, if tanks are the only thing that you see and can look at, shoot at the tanks for spam damage, for uh, just get ult charge rate, but if you have the opportunity to shoot at something else, shoot at something else. And again, that also changes if something's low or about to, or out of position.
Okay, in that uh, situation, you probably want to come up on the left side and take that high ground. Um, so that... Oh, make sure you're backing out here. Right, this is a lost fight. Group up. All right, you don't want to... You want to come out left side high ground so you can take an off angle from your team. And get maybe a different angle that's not covered by shields. Covered by tanks. Right, then you can get around and hit the DPS and supports from the back. Against the dive comp, though? Yeah, even against the dive comp, right? Because the only thing you could see last fight was just a shield and a tanks. Right, you get dove, you have... Oh, unfortunate. Yeah, you get dove, you have your, your a way to run away, you have a health pack, and on top of that, I'm what, you, have, you have a mercy too, right? Yeah. So if you have, a, you have a mercy, mercy can also come and pocket you. Make sure you're paying attention uh, to kill feed. Yeah. I just have a very there. Mm -hmm. no, pay attention to kill feed, look through walls when you're coming back, because if you're down people, you can't go in. Okay, let's push in with off the space from wall. I don't know what to do here. Uh, As in character to pick? Yeah. Yep. McCree might be pretty decent. Um, I, I don't know much of your hero pool, to be honest, so I don't really know what to recommend currently. Wow. Just one, yep, yeah, nice. Okay. Yep. Don't be afraid to get super aggressive when you know that you monkeys, you know, on the ropes, you have them at one HP. Um, just take that aggression when you know that you are at the advantage. No. Oh. The, the my mouse. I had mouse problems. Sorry. But we did not lose that fight purely because of my dad. Chris is feeding again. Oh. Again, we'll watch the kill feed, watch your teams through the walls, watch tab, or not watch tab, uh, watch how much time you have on the time bank. You know, going in when you don't have people, that's happened three times so far. So make sure you're really paying attention to where your team's at so you can be coordinated with them. All right, so um, I think I, I don't even know what I was doing that match to be honest. Mm -hmm. Um, do you feel like you're kind of playing worse than normal currently? Yeah. Yeah. Would you like to just go over replays instead, since that maybe is when you were playing slightly better? I, I, 
don't even know what happened that match. I thought the game was over at the end of that. Uh... Yeah, when you threw the pulse bomb, that's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so would you like to continue doing this or go to, go over to replays? Uh, it's a 10-minute queue, so we, we can just do replays in between. Okay, so sounds good. I'm going to stream again. Um, big, uh, I guess as, since I've watched a little bit of your gameplay, um, let's just go do a quick rotation and talk about all the different aspects of your gameplay, like kind of how you stack up. Um, I think your mechanics are pretty solid. Um, I think that comes especially since you used to play hit scan at a you know at a master's level. Um, I think that those are pretty good. That's probably one of the more solid parts of your um, of your gameplay. Now, um, when it comes to other things, I'll probably say awareness of what's going on around you is probably a very very big thing. Um, a lot of the time, you're just not paying attention to what's going on around you, and then that leads to very bad decisions. Uh, low awareness, essentially, when you don't know what's going on around you you inherently can't make good decisions. And when you do know what's going on around you, right, you have more information that allows you to make better decisions. So um, when we're kind of looking at it that way, right, um, the biggest, or one of the big things that we can look at to gather more information is kill feed, okay? So kill feed being the top right of your screen, right? Um, that's gonna allow you to know essentially when fights are won and lost. If you're not paying attention to kill feed, you won't know when fights are won and lost. What happens if you go and again, what you one person versus six people? I'll die. Yep, you die. You stagger. Not good. You don't win that. Um, what happens if you know? Even if you're going in with two or three people, um, t you're gonna still lose. So when we're watching kill feed, uh, how you to know when you're winning or losing fights is when we're up one to two people. That is an advantage. We didn't win yet, but we can play more aggressively. Okay, we're up two to three people, right? The reason why that two is the middleman there is because when because there's going to be a lot of things that factor in which team has more health, which team is in better positioning, which team is has more ultimates or is currently using more ultimates. Um, there's a lot of things that'll factor in there, right? Which characters are they gone? Um, so two to three kills, right? Two to three picks means that you have won that fight okay that means that you no longer want to use ults you want to be playing super aggressively looking to get those stagger kills now this also goes the exact opposite way right you're down one to two people that is a disadvantage okay you didn't lose the fight yet but you are losing the fight when you're down two to three people you have there like pretty much lost the fight so you want to be looking to get out if you cannot get out, you want to die so that you can regroup, so you don't stagger, and you don't want to use your ult. Now, three times last time, we ended up pushing in um, after our whole team was dead, and I believe two or three of those times, we ended up... Uh, one time we used pulse, one time we ended up dying, and then we might have died a second time too. Um, but, you know, the big thing is make sure you're watching kill feed. And then the second thing is you can see your team through walls, right? Now, you can't see your enemies through walls like in this, but you can see your teammates through walls. So if we're walking back into a fight and we don't see any of our teams in, at the walls, we have tab we can press to see who, who's alive, who's dead. And we also have kill feed that we can watch. So pay attention to who's winning and losing the fight so that when we're coming back to that fight, we're not running in when we're kind of going in 1v3. Okay, so one second. Sorry, I'm back. Okay, so, um, yeah. So, basically, awareness is a very big issue. Secondly, uh, going to be ability usage. Ability usage, um, I'd probably say... Sorry, I'm, I'm going to cut back there. I have, a, I have a few distractions in the background, so I'm going to reframe what I was saying. Um, ability usage, I think was okay. I didn't pay too much attention to it. Um, ultimate usage though, make sure that you're paying attention really heavily to that. I think ultimate usage was also a very big thing. With your Genji, make sure that you're requesting for specific things, right? And we can pay attention at the very beginning. I hear you're in a game, so I'm going to go spectate to that. Sorry, we didn't get into the VOD at all. Um, yeah, if we're on Genji, right, look at your comp at the beginning of the game. Think, what characters can support me while I blade? Okay. Um, and then that way you can call for those characters and those abilities, and then therefore you can get away with Blade more efficiently and get more done with it. And then with Pulse Bomb, just make sure you know you're not tossing it out. Make sure you're paying attention to 
all of the corners of your screen, not just your crosshair, what's happening in the time bank, where what's happening, abilities, kill feed, health bar, ultimate charge, right? We need to be glancing everywhere, not just at our crosshair. Oh, I'm gonna stop streaming. The stream is very blurry currently. So after you die, maybe you can fix it. Oh, I got a little bit better. By the way, you also muted yourself, so I can't hear you on this cord. Okay. When you're out of abilities, look to back off, recharge, look, get, look to get around the corner and just get them back. Don't keep going in over and over and over again when you're out of recall, out of blinks, right? Because then you're just going to end up dying. Um, also, the video quality fixed itself. You, you Right now, you're just muted and that's it. Yeah, big thing on there on Tracer was just the uh, ability usage. That's like. Oh, baby! Oh, baby! There's just gonna stall it forever. We need to focus this ball down too. You can look to just flash him out of his out of his roll around, right? Oh boy, I need healing. <laughs> well played. Monkey's half. This is actually absurd. This is all. Monkey's one! Okay, everything's getting low HP and nothing's dying. That ball is still alive. Alright. So, again, make sure that our the tanks are not the fo kind of focal point of our damage. Unless they're low, unless they're out of position, or unless they're only thing, the only thing to shoot, right? If the DPS and supports are running around on point, focus them first because they are three times easier to kill. They and they do more. Everything got low and nothing did. I've played Reaper. The, I, I don't know if I'm frame dropping or something, but I feel like I'm double shooting a lot, and that my latency is not high, so I don't, I don't know. Yeah, the the recording keeps the losing quality every once in a while. I think it's back to normal. Okay, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, now it's low quality again. If it keeps up like this, we'll probably have There's probably have to stop. Up there. Let's come in. Let's come in. Let's come, sorry. Let's go. Okay. 
Uh, don't just poke from the front. TP behind the kind of combo that you do on Reapers. You TP behind them, shoot them in the back until they look at you or they start shooting at you, and then you just recall uh, and then you fade back to your. Oh, sorry, whatever it's called, Wraith back to your team. Right, so you're just gonna look for that combo over and over and over again. TP behind, shoot them in the back, fade back to our team. Then when you're back with your team, you can focus the front line, and then we go for the t plays back when we have the abilities. Oh, she's one. No! Unfortunate. Oh, if you see that you're low, always try to kind of prioritize your life over getting that kill. Because going one for one isn't ever going to be the play as you lose your carry potential. And DPS, quite frankly, should not be just, you know, go getting a 1 KD. I'm, I'm so dead here. Yeah, I got shattered. Unfortunate. Yep, good job using abilities to get back from spawn. Of course. Oh. <laughs> right, soldier right. I mean, whatever. Right. All right, that was fucking awful. Thank you. Upper hog right. Uh, Did Wraith just come off cute cold on there? Cool. Do you know? Yeah, I'm not right, sure. Because right as he died, I saw it. So it's possible that it was on like one second as you died, but. You know, just watch it. Watch your cooldowns. Make sure you're wraithing out of that. Oh, good old, good job TPing behind him. Yep, watch the spam jumping. It's probably a bad habit that comes from Genji. But um, you don't want to just keep pressing jump button. This isn't going to be something that gets you from uh, Diamond the Masters, but it will help you be more consistent as it's a lot harder to hit a character uh, when they're not jumping. Jumping makes it just easier to hit headshots, especially the higher up you go. Alright, so I'm streaming again. You can go ahead and leave that game. Um, we're just going to go and practice range real quick. So, um, I'm not every single point in that game, but I'd probably say the majority of like, or like half of it, right? Um, we are spending our time poking at them from the front line, 
at this range, right? Let's look at the damage that we do from this range. Not a whole lot, especially if we're comparing that to, to tanks, right? Um, and shields in the front line. So from this range, we're not doing very much. So we want to be playing much closer to where we, when we're right up here, we can go for one taps, two taps, three taps, right? We're doing a lot more than having to kill somebody in eight shots. So how our playstyle should be, right, is pretty much we go for the TP. When you're going for your TPs, try to make it so that w each side is hidden, right? Otherwise, they know they, where you're TPing to. So one TP is behind this wall. Other TPs up on high ground where they're not looking. We get behind them. We kind of mess up their back line. We can get one taps in, right? Two taps. They start to look at us. We take damage. We fade back to our team. We're safe. We can fight on this front line until we get those abilities back, right? And then that's how your rotation should be. And that way you're kind of maximizing. We get the cooldowns back. We go back in. And then we can go aggressive again, right? And then this bypasses the kind of the front line to where we're actually doing the damage in the back. I'd probably say... A, most of the time that when I see you going for damage, it's always on things. Every single time that you're damaging, or not every time, sorry, that's in it. That's a um, over exaggeration there. Um, the majority of the time that you're shooting, it is at a tank. And as I discussed before, tanks have three times the health. Tanks can be healed by two supports. Two supports can't heal each other, right? Or they can't, you know, they can heal each other, but. It, a support can't heal themselves nearly as easily, right, as two supports healing a tank. Um, on top of that, they have shielding ability, or tanking abilities, right? Um, and tanks, quite frankly, don't get as much raw statistical data, like, uh, value as DPS, DPS, or supports, right? Supports keep everyone alive. Tank, or the tanks just create space, and then the DPS are the ones who do the damage. So if a tank is not out of position... If they're not low or we're not just spamming at them because that's the only thing we can do, then we want to make sure that we're trying to get to that back line, which is going to be a lot easier to kill. Got it. Okay. Um, now we're getting back to that replay there. Um, where, where were we on there in the replay, King's Row? Was, yeah, it, King's Row. was it this comp game? It was comp, King's Row, yeah. Hopefully this is it. Now entering King's ready for battle. Yeah. Ready for battle. Yeah, so we got first point. Oh, it's not we kept second fast. We got the corner in this. So here, this is where I'm saying just don't don't do the double jumping because it's just messing up your aim when you could just kind of chill here. Aim head level. Did we... Do you remember... Because this probably was something that we talked about when we went over Widowmaker. Uh, do you remember Crosshair Placement at all? Yeah. Where we talked about cross, Crosshair Placement. Kind of what was the biggest thing when it came to Crosshair Placement? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Just keep it at head level, hmm. mostly. Yep. When you peak corners. Exactly, right? So when we're... You know, just dropping to the ground here and we look at where a crosser's at. We look at where a crosser's at, right, in comparison to their heads. Even, like, you know, when we're dropping to this ground, like, look at where that's at. Right, we're, we're just not keeping it head level. And then all these shots now just don't hit headshots if we even land them. Good deflect. Remember, you can cancel that though once you do do get it. That's a new mechanic, I think. Yeah. Just gotta get used to it. Yeah. Oh, just dash out, right? You see her low like that. Right now, we just want to get health packs. Yep. All right. So come in the next fight. We have blade. Okay, we are communicating from right at this point. We say, Anna, we have nanoblade this fight. I'm going to dash up and call for it when I want it. Zarya, you paying attention? 
Zarya, bubble me when I go for it, okay? You, you, if they're in chat, you say, okay, I want, like, you, you ask for, like, you know, verbal confirmation. They say, okay. You say, okay, we're all good, right? The fight happens. We say, okay, I'm dashing up in three, two, one. You dash up. If all goes to plan, you get nano, you get bubble. Everything goes beautifully, okay? But that doesn't happen if we don't communicate it. Trying to blade from behind them. Do, do you know? Are we trying to blade from behind them here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What What might you think would be the? I guess. Yeah. The only issue I can see is just it being too difficult for your backline to see you. The other thing is, uh, we got to make sure that we're using our ults first, right? In front of their ults. Um, what happens here is when we wait until they, you know, we wait too long. They go for a nano blade. Okay. Now nano blade then gets two kills, and then now what happens if we use nano blade right now? Yeah, it's lost already. Yeah. So when any ultimate that you're using later in the fight is gonna get less value, because any ultimate used early fight gets picks, gets healing, gets damage in, right? Which puts you at a disadvantage in that fight, or potentially even wins that fight, right? So. Uh, the earlier we use it, the better, because then that stops them from being able to use their ults, right? And then let's say we nano blade, we get we we kill a bunch of them, and then they and then they use some ultimates, so then they just wasted them, right? Because they're still gonna lose. Here we going a little too late. Um, I would have maybe liked to see the us trying to go from for it from here rather than from behind them, just because that puts us kind of an awkward angle for the Ana to be able to see us and the Zarya. Um, I don't even know if if Nano and Bubble can reach that far because they do have a range on them. That might be like this might even be like too far out of that range. So you have to be careful from that distance. Okay. okay. Now I'm assuming we're just kind of waiting on the regroup. We're just gonna chill here. Maybe coming up to this high ground was a little risky. Soldier might turn around there. Okay. Just backing out. Yeah, we're just looking for the blade. Okay, we're saying, okay, I'm up top behind them, on an enemy, right? Sorry, I'm coughing. Oh, okay. I hear you in the game, I think. Nothing I haven't seen before. Stick together. You will complete our mission. Oh, All no, right. stop streaming. Sorry, I didn't see that. What up, what up? If you'd prefer to play his skin, just let me know, bro. Um, play a little bit of everything. Sounds good. If I feel like I'm not doing good, then I'll just switch. Or if you want to play Genji or something, just let me know. I did not play Widow. That's like the one character I don't play. Somewhere behind the gun. Oh, oh. I. Okay. Unfortunate. Make sure looking around a little bit. Um, first thing we're always trying to pay attention to is what comp are they on, right? Because that dictates everything about how we're approaching this. Oh, he got immortality. Hit me, hit me, Anna, hit me, Anna. Oh, thank you. Try not to recall it out in voice chat. Request healing. Calling out in voice chat, Anna doesn't know who I am, right? If you say, hit me, hit me, hit me. She doesn't know who that is, doesn't know where you are. So if you press any healing, that lets her know what character you are, who, like, where on the map you are, because it will give 
them kind of awareness on it. Oh, good, nice shot. Right, so whenever you need healing, it's always just better to request the healing. Okay. Uh, we need to choose somewhere to take a fight here. We're kind of just sitting in the middle. I'm going to play McCree. Yeah, we can take our guns here. Who's up here? Uh, we need a tank. Okay, you guys are going mid. We're gonna get hooked. Or that. Oh man, There's so many things on me right now. Yeah. Okay. Um, probably gonna have a pretty rough time trying to take high ground to, as Widowmaker, as we can't really, we don't have any angles to shoot from there, right? We. I didn't really want to take high ground. We needed the tank, but both of them were in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, uh, if both tanks are in the middle, you probably just want to go middle, right? Because Widowmaker, you're not gonna get much value up there unless you can take that super fast and you just take high ground. Hit a shot that'd be helpful as well. All left side. He's on cart on the Ana. Slept. Nice. Try to rotate around front so you can see his head better. He's sleeping. Yeah, right now the. Yeah, but I'll, I'll, I'll talk a minute. Very, very nice then of mine placement. Hey, very nice. Uh, Unfortunately, we got the points so. though. Hey. So, the biggest thing so far is just that we've been missing pretty much every shot, and you know we're we're not able to do anything if we're doing that. So, um, not much happening mechanics wise. Or sorry, not mechanics wise. Uh, game sense wise, awareness wise, ability wise, you've been good on all those ends. Just haven't been hitting shots, which just co will come with time, especially since you're just rusty, right? Got to get those mechanics back warmed up. Because you are starting to hit a few more shots now. He's leaving. I'm dead here. Somehow not there. Ryan's in our back. Ryan weak, Ryan weak. Probably go left side here, right? Take that off angle. I need mean, healing behind. Okay. Instead of trying to just, you know, yeah, phase tank I... him, grapple away. I can own my time. Right. Because keep in mind that you, you scoping in also makes it easier for him to shoot you because you're standing still. Yeah. Ryan sleeping on your honor here? Uh, I'm, dead. I'm not there for that. Can you half? Okay, pay attention to kill feed. This is a lost fight. Make sure we're not going in when we just have ball there, because then that. But, yep. Because even if you have the slightest hesitation without me calling that, right? Then that means that ball kills you there. And then we end up staggering, even though the fight was had been lost.
listen, listen, Kree is above you. Make sure we're using our ears. Yeah. Already use grapple. I'm gonna switch here. Can we get out of the ball? Yeah, I'd probably say the biggest thing with Widow there was just make uh, make sure that we're focusing really on our aim because we're doing good on venom mine usage. Grapple usage maybe make sure you're using it that more often when people are getting on top of you. But besides that, the biggest thing was we just had a very low accuracy. So we're really working your mechanics on that. And then I think I think mainly that just comes because you're a little bit rusty currently. Clear behind. Probably. Oh, what? Watch it deflect. Always gotta be careful of that in the in the duels. I shot before he reflected. That was the problem. Mm, okay, wish, uh, the yeah. At the same time, though, right? We we have to kind of predict that he's gonna deflect when he's gonna deflect because uh, in any any time we can't react to it because if we're reacting to it, then we are always gonna be too slow, even on hit scan characters. So we always have to try to predict rather than react. The ball get out? Where's the ball? No. Uh, okay. Make sure you're using Storm Arrow. I haven't seen us use that yet. Make sure we use what? Make sure to use Storm Arrow. I hadn't seen you use that until the you know very end there when you turn when you use it. Sonic Arrow? Storm Arrow. Oh, Storm Arrow. Yep. I had used it. It was on cooldown, I believe. Oh, no, no, no. Right at the end there, you'd use it after the game has ended. Oh, yeah. Right, but the the fight before and that fight you hadn't Damn, you hadn't, so I was just saying remember to do that. I mean to be fair, this guy is a liability. Like he fucking sucks. All day. I don't know why he waited to the last five seconds. He could have just like chilled back there. Uh because he wasn't cold down. He died, he, he spawned back, and then I saw him fly by me, and he was probably in cooldown. Oh uh, no, to play here. What should I play here, guys? Genji, probably pretty good with your support lineup. Might be slightly hard with their with their comp, though. I, I never like it, playing Genji into dive. Yeah. McCree's good. Uh, I think now McCree's pretty solid after the buffs they just gave him. Um, especially if you're using him, since he's tankier, he's probably much better up against a dive comp. But you already have McCree. That's you know, just for future reference. Watch the health. Quest healing. Thanks. Okay. I took high ground. He got healed? What? Briggs. Oh, we got Briggs back. Nice. I can touch point here. No. Mercy got bad spawn. Back up. Um, we're left clicking. Oh, never mind. I'll 
Sorry, you died. Um, we're left clicking a lot, even when we're right next to people. Make sure you're swapping over those right clicks when you're, you know, an inch from somebody, or even with any time all. Th brand, shield, okay. yep. Anytime all three of your shurikens are gonna get hit by from like using a right click, you use right click, right? Get that fucking honor. Massive slam. Nice slam. Wait, is there behind us? Yep, yep, yep. He's going up top. He's we have mana blade here. Free wait, free wait. Come. Okay, who else besides Ana are we are we requesting from? Oh. Okay. Um. All right. Yep, unfortunate. Try to I, that they did go in when the, they were down the McCree, so that caught me off guard. But try to be paying attention to where the enemy t enemy team is too, right? Because that can give us a little bit of an insight. Um, we keep losing these fights because we're coming in with our blade after they're coming in with their blade. Yeah, I don't know. I called for Nano Blade and then we Nanoed Ryan there, so. Oh, okay. Yep. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, I can't make it. Uh, that's damage. Okay, so we're looking for blade here. Crazy we don't have nano. Blade. What are we gonna do? Any damage boost me on my blade? Yeah. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna go in here on Ana. Okay. Fortunate, we kind of missed that slash on the break there, but you could see there on the Ana how it it is the same. Uh, as a nano with a single dash, single slash, rather than the double slash being needed. So good job with the communication there. Um, just make sure you're trying to be a little bit more, I guess, uh, authoritative with how you're, you're how you're saying it, right? Command control of it. Oh, uh, see that, see that. <laughs> Oh, where is he? I can't see. Nice. You're gonna nano blade again. No. Point is on point. Oh. Stop your Ryan, guys. Come on. We can win this, we can win this, we can win this, come on, come on. He's sleeping, sleeping. There's some locked. Nice, Ryan, get no, Ryan, no, Ryan. No, 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 no. Nice, on Kree, on Kree. Oh. Forget, forget, forget. oh, this Kree didn't die. Uh, Kree's one, Kree's one. Nice, Genji, Genji. Nice. Good target priority there. Okay, so fight before. Um, make sure that we're not sending three people back to contest the ball, right? If we see that we have somebody on point, make sure you're still focusing on the front line because us sending three people back to point, yeah, we got the ball killed, but we, they killed our Reinhardt and they could push more aggressively, right? Uh, that was okay. Um, Ryan's dead. Back up, back up, back up. I d I, you didn't even tell us you were doing that. Yep. Try to make sure you're paying attention to where your tanks are, right? Because even if he's not saying it, that's something we can look at, right? Yeah. Because we, we don't always they have, have the. Shield. 
We need to burn down the shield. It's getting low, we're getting there. Okay. Oh, okay. Alright. Again, kind of using that a little bit late in the fight, right? The High Noon and Nato Blade came up before we ended up using our ult, and then that just means that they get more value. Um, oh no, we nanoed our Ryan again there. Yeah, bro. I don't know why we nanoed by the anti shield. It would have done nothing. The shield was less than half HP. And half their team wasn't even behind it. Alright, so um, we're not always going to have the luxury when it comes to communication here. Um, we're not always going to have the luxury of two things. One, our team communicating with us at all. And two, people listening. Never have the expectation that people are going to communicate with you and never have the expectation that people are going to listen to you. Because when we have those expectations, we're going to end up having our hopes and dreams crushed. Uh, don't get in the game. We're, uh, we're kind of up with our time here. I'll just wrap this up real quick. Um, so don't have the expectation, those expectations. Instead, be pleasantly surprised if they do communicate. Be pleasantly surprised if they do listen to you. Okay, because if we're getting upset because they don't listen to our Nanoblade call, like, call out, then that's fine. It's ranked. People are going to do that. It's going to happen all the time. Okay, so do your best. Um, you're a little bit, little bit timid with how you're asking for it. You're, you're kind of quiet with it. You're maybe saying it once and then that's it. Um, make sure you're kind of commanding. You're going, okay, okay, Anna, you listening? We have Nano Blade this fight. I'm going to dash up. I'm going to call for it when I want it. Okay, and then once you're getting into this fight, you say it again, right? Anna, go looking for Nano Blade. What do you say? Can you hear my teammates? Yes, I can. Yep. Okay, I don't know, because they were calling it out pretty loud and loud. I was just going off of what they were saying. They're calling out what? Nano Visor. We said it like Nanovisor. four times before that fight, and then I was. Oh, well, so, yeah, that's unfortunate. I don't know. I don't know why that was up, but the Nano Blade, especially before that, when they Nano Ryan the first time, right? Yeah. And then make sure we're looking around more, right? Uh, it's. Uh, technically, yes, it is technically Reinhardt's fault for not telling you and then ended up going for a shatter. But we're going to have that happen to us all the time. Okay, The only way we're going to climb and get better is if we learn to deal with that by paying attention to our tanks more and our team more so that we know that he's going for it, right? If we see Reinhardt going for that and he doesn't say anything, you say, hey guys, Ryan's looking for a shatter, right? That way you're the one communicating, that, one you're the w that way you're the one saying it, and then it actually gets communicated. All right, so main focus points, awareness of what's going on around you. Um, make sure you're paying attention to kill feed and what, who's winning the fight. Pay attention to your team and the enemy team. Um, ability usage, I think there are only on a few characters we were struggling with that on Tracer. We were struggling with that a little bit. Genji, I don't think you struggled with that at all. Oh. Oh, you're good. Oh, what did I do? I did not mean to post that. But, yep, I'm going to end the recording here.